everyone, this is Lady Irene with another BJD video. This one is the do you, question mark, uh, BJD tag. I am getting mine from Sea Hedgehog, so I will put a link in the description to their YouTube channel. And then they got it from someone else. So. Alright, so let us begin. So it's just a bunch of do you, blah blah blah, blah questions. And there are ten of them. Alright, so... Do you name all your dolls? Yes, in fact, I have a nifty little book with all my doll names in them because I can't remember information, but it also has like a whole page full of information about every doll. Do you have specific characters for all your dolls? Yes, and it's written here. <laughs> um, do you have backstories for all your dolls? Um. Currently, no, but I am working on it. There, um, so we have this one. All my smart dolls are in the process for story and backstories and all that stuff. It's just because they're newer. I got them all in 2019. I haven't had time to do doll stuff. Um, so it's really just, I gotta get around to it. Um, do you think backstories are important and make your dolls more realistic? Realistic? No. Um, as an otaku since the age of 12, um, all my stories are written like garbage anime plots, probably. So realistic? No, because I'm not going for realism, I'm going for... It's not a- it's a fiction. Like a fiction work, you know? A piece of fiction. Um, I... I think it's important for me because that's how I express like all these thoughts and stuff in my head. So I used to make characters all the time as a kid and I still do and it's kind of a way to put it in physical format uh, while also being like a cohesive plot. So like, oh, there's this idea for a character because I think these characteristics are neat and they be cool, like a unique, not unique because there's not unique in my writing or character building, but like, it'd be an interesting combination of characteristics, right? Um, so, I forgot what I was saying with that tangent, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I think it's important for me, whether it's important overall, I mean in the grand scheme of things. Um, we're gonna move on from that question. Do you have a special place for your dolls? I do! There is a bookshelf um, against this wall, actually. I think you can see it. Yes, like I have something. Yeah, it's like right there. I didn't realize how messy this corner was. Um, cool. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pretty distracting. That's my only place I can record, so, uh, yeah, I do, and it has a blackout curtain to keep the sun away from them. Uh, da, 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 da. do you dress slash redress your dolls for special occasions and holidays? I would love to. I would really, really love to. I don't have the outfits or the time or the money, <laughs> but in an ideal world, I would. Um, do you dress... Nope, already said that one. Do you have a birthday for all your dolls? Yes. It is either the day they came in or the day that I ordered them. Or maybe even the day... No, no, no. It's either the day they shift or the day they come in. It's never the day I order. Unless it's like, you know, order sh and then shift immediately. And the reason for that is it just depends. Like if two dolls have really close birthdays, I try to spread them out so I have options of which day I want to pick. Um, and then if they come with a COA with a date of, like, production, I might use that. Um, da -da -da -da. do you have dolls in your collection that you could never part with and why? Yes. Um, so Koza I will never part with. She was my first doll, and that's, like, a milestone in my life, and I could never get rid of her. And then Aoife here, I absolutely adore. I, it's most of, I just adore them, and if I lost them or like they had to be taken or whatever, 
I feel like I lose a part of me. Like, I put effort and time and, like, thoughts into these dolls and, you know, writing these characters from me, because, you know, I think, I think I mentioned it in the video before this, but, like, you can't write a character for a doll without putting a little bit of yourself into it because you can only write what you know. So that being taken away, we, I feel like I'd just be empty. Like, they feel a purpose and a necessity in my life, and I don't want to lose that. So, all of my dolls. <laughs> all of the dolls who especially have strong backstories and characters, but... Um, I guess, like, maybe my other two smart dolls, if I had to part with them, I'd be like, oh, that sucks, but I will. Like, if I was like, you'll die if you don't, I'm like, oh, okay, bye, but like, oh, okay, I can't say that to all of them, but like, you know, oh, you're broke, and if you don't sell these, you're gonna be homeless. Yeah, I would definitely sell my other two smart dolls before anyone else. Um, not that I don't like them, but their characters aren't as strong, and they haven't been around long enough, so. And one of them was a spontaneous buy, well, they're, all of them are spontaneous buys. Um, Starlight, the Starlight Sculpt is the only one I actually thought about before buying, where the other two were super like, oh, this is a good deal, or oh, I really, really want a smart doll. So, um... Do you have dolls that are just for fun? All of them? I, like, none of them are for work or for like, I, none of, I don't buy them being like, oh, I need this for like medical, not medical, but like meditation or mental health reasons. So all of them, they don't become important until I spend time on them. So yeah. Do you dress your dolls for fun or because it suits their character? That depends on the doll. So, and it also depends on, well the way, okay, Ooh, excuse me. The way I buy clothes is I look at some clothes and I'm like, oh, I can see this character wearing this. So yeah, it suits them. But then there's some outfits where I'm like, huh, it'd be great to see all three of my dolls in this uh, booby window outfit. Even the boy. Because <sighs> I'm like that, you know? So both. Yeah, both. But I can also see one of them wearing it for realsies, so. <laughs> there is that. But uh, yeah, that is the end of the Do You tag. So I will see you in another BJD uh, video. Bye!